Fifteen days ago, a function of landowners petitioned the government to pay 35 million as security benefits to clans in the PNG LNG project in Hela. This afternoon, members of the Angora Leadership Committee, which make up clan wellheads in Angora, condemned the perpetrated petition and threats issued to the state and developer ExxonMobil. And uh, because they are not genuine, uh, it's not, this, the petition is not supported by the Angora Wellhead Leadership Committee and the clans at the Angora Wellhead, who are custodians of the valve station, the pipelines and the wellheads, it's not supported by us because it's not genuine, it's not supported by the shareholders of the uh, vendor companies to the LNG project. The Angora Leadership Committee claimed the group was not part of the project areas and were described as people and owners funded by losing candidates of the 2017 national elections. Chairman of Angora Holdings, John Poy, says Angora clans are intact and do not support the petition. Maus Peace Blomibla and Angora Wallet Leadership Committee. And number two, ASPA. Supposing government, you like negotiate, you can go, go on a look him, leader Blomibla, Lusla, block PDL8. This line cover him, hold PDL8. You know, lo, block 7 and 15. The other function is claim a 35 million security fee with statements of protesting and shutting down operations. The Angora leaders say they are not part of the group but want the project to continue. Chairman Akipe says the recent strike and protest is a law and order issue and police and other authorities must apprehend those responsible. So that's basically why we do not think, we do not support the, uh, the <coughs> petition and we do not uh, think the petition is genuine that can benefit the all PDLA. Jack Lopave Jr. National MTV News.